welcome back. Well, I know you've heard of it. It's known as the kissing disease, and as your teens go back to school, they're the most vulnerable to catching this disease. Making a house call tonight, Mark Thompson from Thompson Pharmacy in Traverse City. Welcome, Mark. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Now, we all know a little bit about mono, but what exactly is it? Uh, mono is a, a mononucleosis. It's a virus caused by Epstein-Barr virus. Epstein-Barr. Yeah, there are physicians or clinicians who identified it and studied it back in the 60s uh, from England. So that's where it got its name from. But. So it spreads in a lot of different ways, and what's, what's the most common way? I mean, obviously we know it's the kissing disease. Yeah, saliva, uh, bodily fluids um, are the most common way. So kissing is the, the, the thing everybody talks about, but obviously anytime anybody gets saliva on their hands and touches a table and then somebody comes into a new classroom, so, I mean, simply, simply by, hey, here, you want to sip my drink. Yeah, sip your drink, sharing utensils, particularly in college, wow. um, you know, close proximity in whether you're in apartments or, or the, the dorm room. So it can happen pretty quickly and pretty easily. And it's a very common virus. Um, most of us uh, get it. By, by the age of 40, 95% of the population has gotten it. You wow. Just, we're never symptomatic. So what are the early signs of this? Uh, if we can get it early, obviously we want to. Yeah. Uh, a lot of fatigue is the big one, feeling really run down. You're going to have similar to cough and cold and even flu-like symptoms. So it's tough to tell the difference then. Very tough. And people don't usually seek treatment until it's been like a week or two right. or three weeks. And uh, the sooner you can get to it, the better, obviously, so you don't affect other people. But yourself, um, you know, recovery can be one to two weeks to two wow. to three months. So yeah. particularly in college, you, you know, you can lose a lot of time. Class. So right. what about full-blown symptoms of mono, if, if you're really feeling it? You'll have major swelling in the in your lymph nodes, usually in the neck. You can get really large bumps. Um, you can have white in the back of your throat. Um, you can, a lot of people develop strep throat as a secondary uh, infection, a bacterial infection, so you can have those oh, wow. symptoms, um, which all those can really make it pretty oh, miserable. Pretty miserable, I agree. So some treatment ideas you have? Really, it's symptomatic. Lots of rest. Um, lots of fluids. You can drink juices. I try and stay away from uh, citrusy things like lime, lemon, and those kind of go more for uh, oh, apple, grape. But uh, just fluids and rest. Is there's really not a whole lot of yeah. medication. There's no vaccine yet. There are some studies. I was going to say, what about, you know, and I've heard some people think steroids and things like that. Yeah, they will do steroids for the inflammation. Um, so that's pretty much all you can treat, right? And antibiotics for the strep throat. So people will say, okay, well, it's hard to treat, so what about prevention? Just washing <laughs> your hands, cleaning, washing your hands, being real diligent at that, not sharing drinks uh, for ladies with a lip gloss or, or chapstick. Yeah. Um, so those are the main things. It's just really, really washing your hands and not sharing utensils. Just kind of be aware. Yep. All right. Well, thank you so much, Mark. Thank you. Well, if you'd like to learn more about mono symptoms, treatment, and causes, you can log on to our website, upnorthlive.com.